everybody. It's good to see you today on Rosie Red Nosy and Twist Crazy Keys. Oh, fun, Chris. It's a dance party today. Thursday dance party. Sounds like a song. And it's never too hot to visit the jungle. Here we go, we've got some nice animal noises coming up for you here. Let's we'll see if you can spot all the different animals I put in this song. You don't have to be too picky about it. The actual. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I love it! Animals. 
To be afraid. All right, I'm push. going to push the magic button. The magic button. Oh, that's it's not quite works. magic yet. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Whoa, this is gonna be fun.
Oh, that was good. That was so cool. Can we just keep on going with the yeah, next song? Yeah, yeah. Now this song helps you remember the days of the week. Yes. And it's quite hot. But on this day of the week it is. On this day of the week is pretty hot. Are you ready? Yeah. I think it works anyway. Yeah. to make a plumie. Now, this is a word that's a combination between plum and smoothie. So really we're going to make a smoothie with plums in it. So we need some plums. If you don't have plums, you can use another kind of fruit, but you can't call it a plumie unless it's got plums, and we have lots of plums right now. So you'll need to ask your mum to help you with this part, but I want you to try to take the seeds out of the plums. We don't want plum stones in our smoothie. And I'm going to use about four big fat plums, but you could use seven or eight little ones. It doesn't matter what sorts you use, it really doesn't matter at all. So, you take the stones out and you put the plums, pop into the blender jar. This only works if you've got a blender, I'm afraid. If you only have, if you have a kind of a stick blender, careful with a knife, Rosalie. Um, if you have a stick blender, you can use it in a, a big kind of blender jar and try to do it with a stick blender. That works okay too. But a real blender is the best way to go. Okay, so I've almost got my plums in here. We're just minutes away from the nicest little cooling treat you ever did imagine. So there we go. 
There's a bunch of plums in there. I'm gonna put some ice cubes in. Of course, my hands are clean. It doesn't matter. Woo! They're going everywhere. Doesn't matter too much if you touch a little bit. A little bit of yogurt in. Oh, and mustn't forget this. A little bit of honey. Very good, you get to lick the spoon. Have it been good? Yes. Mm. Now, a little bit of water. So how much water was that? About half a cup of water. Mm. It doesn't really matter though because you just you decide what works the best for you. So I'm screwing this lid on very carefully. Nice and tight with my big muscles. Okay, I'm going to pop it on the thing now. We're going to make a loud noise here for a second. And there is my plumey. Undo this. Pour it nicely into your glass. I think it's made enough for two friends. <laughs> two friends, and it just so happens there's two of us, so here we go. Ooh, look at that. Enough for two friends to share. Shall I try it and see how it tastes? Mmm, absolutely delicious. And it's not too sweet. It's a lovely little treat. All right. So I hope you want to try that plumey at home. Use about four or five big plums or seven or eight little plums. Good big heaping tablespoon of yogurt, about five or six ice cubes, half a cup of water, a good tablespoon of honey, and um, blend it all up. You can even put a little vanilla in, it's very nice as well. I hope you try that at home. That was very tasty. Tried a little bit of it, the rest of it we put in the fridge and we're going to have it after our show. Mm -hmm. That will be fun. Being because we don't want to make you too jealous if we eat drink it all on <laughs> drink the show. Drink it all right in front of you, we get a silly. You know, somebody, I was going to say someone sent in some pictures. Really? Show, yes. That's the fun to show. So we've got... You're going to go up to we, the camera yeah, so we, you can see. We, we did a little thing about peace and we did an artwork about peace and we have two things to show you. This is from David. That's oh, really nice. And another one from Elias. Eli. Nicely done, Eli. So nice to see things made by some of the kids, isn't it? Definitely. So, should we do another song? I thought that'd be kind of fun. One last song. One last song. I don't know what kind of beat he's going to do. Chris always surprises okay. me with well, the beat. I've added, you know what I did? I added some maracas on this. Do you know what maracas are? Some kind of maraca, raca, 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 raca. Oh. It's kind of like a, a shaky shaker thing. thing. A shaky thing. Shaky thing. It's like a big ball thing with a stick on it. You need to say, if you shake your shaky thing, you feel alright. If you shake your shaky thing, you feel alright. If you shake your shaky thing, you feel alright. So if people, if the kids have something to shake, they could bring it up. They could. Shake. They could. They could shake something. I don't have anything here. There's nothing here to shake. We, have, we do have some shaky toys. Shaky next time, interest. next time we'll do it. Next time we'll bring some shaky stuff out. That'll if you have fun. anything, you're welcome to use it for this song. Definitely. Um, right, okay. I'm going to push the button. Not that button. Ooh.
it's really true. <laughs> Jesus is always, always, always going to be good and faithful. It doesn't really stop doing that. It's just who he is, isn't it? That's right. And he always helps if we, if we go to him, if we remember he's there, he can help calm us down, he can help fill us with his joy and his happiness, even when things are difficult. Yeah. And he always comforts us if we need comfort. It's so good to know him. It's true. It's really true. Thanks so much for joining us today on Rosie Red Nosy. And Chris Crazy Keys. It's been really fun being with you. I hope you enjoyed the show. And I hope you will make one of those plumies. Mm -hmm. I hope you can find some plums. This time of year in Cyprus, there's lots of plums. You can make it with other kinds of fruit, but give it another name. Yeah, give it a different name. Tell us. What kind of name would you do if you did, like, I don't know, bananas or strawberries or... You'd make up a, a name. A struzy. A struzy would be a good strawberry one, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. A Roozy. Roozy. Raspberry. Yeah. Ruthie. 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 <laughs> Ruthie could be a good raspberry one. You can just play with it. Mix the, the fruit and the moody, smoothie. Yeah. And then you can come up with a fun name of your own. Absolutely. If, Ab oh. We're going to maybe take a little break for the next couple of weeks, but we might post some extra things that you don't expect. But we won't do our normal show for the next couple of weeks. But have a lot of fun and watch out for our next show when it comes out. That would be really nice. We love having you join us and watch it together. Yeah. Don't forget to click the notification bell and like and subscribe. Then you'll know when it happens. That's right. Yeah. We're going to play Rosie Red Nosy, but we're going to do it with that funky beat that we just played there. Give me that funky beat, Chris. Crazy keys.